My name is Agnes. I am from Zimbabwe and I am deaf. I work with an organization called Deaf Women Included, where I am the founding executive director. The COVID-19 pandemic has been particularly hard on persons with disabilities because their access to various services have been curtailed during the lockdown period. Such services include interpretation services, medication, rehabilitation services, and access to basic supplies. The biggest challenge during the lockdown is that information has generally been scarce for those with sensory disabilities. Key information has not been made available in accessible formats, no braille for the blind, not enough information in sign language, and no easy read versions for those with intellectual disabilities. What information has been provided generally does not meet minimum standards. I'm not very sure if persons with disabilities are able to access treatment on an equal basis with others. While the lockdown measures were meant to protect the lives of the general population, it is important to ensure that all people are protected. The situation of persons with disabilities in rural areas is very difficult. To protect the spread of the virus among children in schools, the government closed schools early. This also includes children with disabilities in residential schools. The opening of schools for the second term has also been delayed. Prior to the lockdown, there were persons with disabilities living on the streets, including children. Some were rounded up and put into shelters through government efforts and other non-governmental organizations. There is not much information available about their welfare due to the emergency situation. Like everyone else, movement is restricted for persons with disabilities, even with genuine need for medication or other needs related to their disabilities. For example, movement of helpers. There has not been deliberate measures taken to reach out to persons with disabilities in the rural areas with information. The situation is exacerbated by the lack of access to enabling technologies like TVs, phones, and internet connectivity. Furthermore, there has not been any protective measures taken for persons with disabilities. Due to poverty, many persons with disabilities cannot afford sanitizers, soap, and face masks. Even health workers are complaining of the lack of availability of personal protective equipment. Their source of livelihoods was wiped away by the lockdown as most of them depended on vending. While the government has promised income support for the vulnerable in society, including persons with disabilities, the support has not materialized. Except for some NGOs and well-wishers who have donated to some persons with disabilities, there has not been any support in the face of eroded incomes. The situation of persons with disabilities will continue to worsen without support from the government. As the lockdown continues, Many persons with disabilities face real risk of starvation as food supplies run out with no money to replenish supplies. Where foodstuffs are available, there are long queues which are hard to navigate for persons with disabilities. As nerves are frayed due to continued quarantine in some homes, cases of violence also increase and support networks are limited. Persons with disabilities with underlying medical conditions are at risk of default on chronic medication due to the lack of access to medication or having no funds to purchase them. The government should include persons with disabilities in its emergency response task forces and ensure that measures are put in place to protect the life and rights of persons with disabilities.